Hello, I'm David, an agent with the Geek Squad out of Minneapolis. And I'm Paul, an agent with the Geek Squad out of Minneapolis. And today we're going to talk about disposing of your hard drives. And today we're going to talk about your hard drive. A lot of people think that this is the hard drive, but this is what it actually is. And this is where all of your pictures, music, and documents are stored. Before you dispose of your hard drive, you're going to want to go through and get all of that personal data off. When you get a new computer and you've got these old components, there's a couple things you want to think about before just disposing of it. You want to make sure, like Dempsey said, to get that personal data off there. On top of that, you want to make sure you dispose of it properly. And we're going to show you a couple ways to make sure that the platters inside are destroyed in a way that that data can't be compromised. So here we have your desktop. On desktops, you're going to have screws that are on the side that you'll have to remove in order to get the side of the case off. Your hard drive is typically going to be located right at the front of the computer. You may end up having to remove the front of the case in order to get the drive out. And you're always going to have a power and a data cable that you'll have to remove in order to remove the drive. Removing the hard drive from a laptop can be a little bit trickier. We've got a couple different variations here that we want to show you. This top one here, the hard drive is actually moved through a back panel, which can be identified by a hard drive symbol located here by the screws. The second type of variation we're going to show you is on this one here, where the hard drive actually slides out from the side, also marked by that same symbol. There are going to be some laptops where the hard drive is going to be located under the keyboard. That's a little bit harder to get out. You're probably going to want to contact a Geek Squad agent to get assistance with that. What you're looking for in one of these hard drives is this right here. This is a glass plate, and how we're going to take care of this one is we're just going to use a hammer. So I've got a drive here with a hammer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to locate where the plates are at by flipping this drive over and seeing this right here. That knows the plates are in a circle around it. So we're going to flip it back over and we're going to give it a good firm hit so that we can break the plates inside. Whenever you shake it like that and you hear the noise, you know the plates are taken care of and all your data is safe. The second way, and usually on drives that are five years or older, they have metal plates inside. To take care of those metal plates, we have to do something a little more drastic. So we're going to show you a couple things you might need for that. That's going to be a power drill with a bit and some safety goggles. We always want to protect your eyes. And what you're going to do is you're going to set the drive down and you're just going to drill through those plates, locating them the exact same way. So now that we've shown you how to destroy the hard drive, it's time to think about recycling not only the hard drive, but the computer. There are harmful components that can damage the environment, such as lead and mercury. For any questions that you may have, you can visit us on the website at geeksquad.com.